In 2017, I edited my photos on the Snapseed app and my photos look like this. But when I look at the Instagrammers that I really admire like Brandon Waffle, Peter McKinnon, Samuel Elkins, their photos look amazing and I always thought to myself, how can I edit my photos to look like theirs? Then I found this thing called the HSL tab inside the Lightroom mobile app itself. What it basically does is allows you to control specific colors inside your photos. And one thing I realized is that all the photos that I admire out there does not have the color yellow. So I quickly learned that when you edit your photos, one very good guideline is to desaturate the yellow color inside your photos using the HSL. Say what? Hey, my name is Olin and these are the things I wish I knew when I first started editing photos in Lightroom Mobile. Why am I doing this video? So currently my subscribers is at around 880 and my goal this year is to hit 1000 subscribers. What better way to do that than to help you because by helping you, the chances of you subscribing goes exponentially higher. Back when I used to work for the makeover guys which I recently left, I would edit a lot of interior photos. I used to use the geometry tab to like twist the angles of the photo. But then I always get frustrated because I cannot get the line really straight like the way I wanted it. Then one day my colleague was like, why not you try this thing which is the guided upright feature inside Lightroom itself. And my mind was like totally poof. And that is the second tip which is to use the guided upright to auto straighten your photo. Okay, this is a recent one. One thing that I always thought Snapseed is better than Lightroom was vignetting. In Snapseed, you can vignette whichever spot you want. If you just want to darken the bottom part of the photo, you can use Snapseed's brush tool to only darken the bottom part of the photo. While on Lightroom, you can only vignette the center part of your photo. You don't have so much freedom. But one day I was going through this YouTube video where this guy used linear gradient to darken the bottom part of the photo to guide the viewer's eyes to a radial filter of the subject of the photo where he actually used the radial filter to brighten up the subject. So when I applied this to my own photo, it really brought out the moodiness inside my photo. So number three is to use gradient filters to guide the viewer's eyes to your subject of your photo. For the past two years, I've been posting individual photos which by themselves look great but when you put all of them together on my Instagram feed, they look like a mess. There is just too many colors. Working for a company that does interior design and learning design theory myself, I learned that to have a good design, you need to have a consistent color combination throughout everything. You have like complementary colors, split complementary colors and triadic colors combination. So recently I implemented strictly just three colors on my photos for my Instagram feed and they are orange, red and also turquoise. I did a detailed video on this, you can check it out right here but that is number four is to have a consistent Instagram style for your photos. Going back to 2017 itself, I saw a Peter McKinnon video where he edited their photos in his house and he bumped up the clarity really a lot in his photo and that brought up like a certain punchiness to his photos and this one, I didn't really had a struggle, it's just that somehow from that video, I implemented that punchiness of bumping up the clarity a lot into my own style. So that is number five, which is to bump up the clarity in your photos if it suits your style. Thank you for making it this far into the video itself. As a sign of thank you, I'm going to give you one last bonus tip, which is a very big tip for me because I'm using it as my own style currently. So one year ago, I saw this video, this guy teaching how to make blue and pink neon photos just like Brandon Waffle. The way to do this is to move the blue in HSL tab, the hue, towards the turquoise area. And then using the turquoise area itself, you can manipulate all the blue colors to turquoise color. Now, I really like this blue color. Therefore, I made my signature style currently. If you see all my photos, the sky is actually turquoise in color. So that is the bonus tip, turquoise everything. That's it. Did I accomplish what I set out to do at the beginning of this video? Did I help you? Did you find all of these tips and tricks useful? If you did, then I think I'm better off already by doing this video itself. But if you'd like to help me, hit the like button down below so that the algorithm know to shove this video into faces of more people.
if you want to see more videos like this where I share my own personal journey and share tips and tricks, do subscribe down below. And if you want to let me see your photos, you want to share your work to me, this is my Instagram. Until then guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.